I mean, you have seen the film and you can see it is irresistible when it comes to such a great woman poet. And when I found these two actors who portrayed these two roles, I knew that this was a film I wanted to make. I haven't seen the film yet, but I made it so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So what I believe, what I thought was so fantastic in the making of this film was the dialogue with Margarete. To talk about a woman, a, a women's issue across a generation, you create a movie and while you do that something is happening and this is also captured and documented and this was a continuous dialogue that was going on while we were making the film and that is the present that's today i am present she is present i'm a little bit less today than you are but I think if you make a film about a woman who lived in times where life was difficult for women and where the man definitely was the leader, in this case it was Max Frisch, but at first he was fascinated by a woman who did not want to be led and as a consequence was mysterious for him and he wanted to tap into that mystery. And then he came to his limits and it wasn't a personal limit, it was the limit of men of that time in general. So it's a dialogue with the past and at the same time you can show what has changed. So Ingeborg Bachmann, with her search for freedom and liberty, and she also said, I, I cannot be subjugated under um, men. I mean, this is in very trite words. She would have expressed it a lot better. But what she was looking for is what we've achieved now. So with this film, we were able to show the path of women from then until today. And even though she was so emancipated and so much yearning for freedom, she is at the same time suffering so much from the fact that he leaves her. And that was very touching um, for me and also very surprising when on the one hand a woman says, I don't want to live with somebody, I don't want to do all of these things, and at the same time fall so hard and feel so hurt and vulnerable. She said in one of her dialogues that I knew it was against my law and yet I tried it again and again and she fails. And I think this is something that we as women are all familiar with. I think when you create something, whether it's film, art or a politician, a physician, um, a lawyer, whenever you want to achieve something, you're always behind this wall of what you want and what's actually possible. And you're always alone when you think about what of the things you want to do can actually be achieved and what you find in this world of the things that you believe in. And I think melancholia is closely connected to this. You're sitting at the window of your soul and you say, this is how I see the world. I believe in good. I believe in peace. I believe in light. And I'm looking into a dark world. And the dividing line there is melancholia for me. But at the same time also the choix de vivre and one cannot exist without the other. It's this yearning for, this, this hunger for life. Ingeborg is extremely hungry. If she had been satisfied with less, her drama in life would have been less as well, but she wanted too much. She was extremely hungry. Uh, to shoot with such an icon of film, of movie. Uh, <laughs> Don't repeat it. Um, okay, uh, I, I'll, I'll do it in German. I can express myself better in German. So for Vicky and me, it was a gift to shoot with Margarete, to feel how this woman emerges herself into the fountain of youth when making films and her radiating eyes are almost childlike, youthful, and you see that she wants to jump with us into the scene, share the moment with us, feel it, experience it, these moments, asking these questions, finding these answers. I think that's the greatest gift that you can get 
on the other side of the camera as an actor when your director, in that case, um, Margarete, is so involved in the human side, this pureness, this search for these fine little moments, because we know in front of every um, precipice there was always this moment where somebody was hurt, where somebody who started or ended these dramas, these big loves, was hurt. And I mean, she's a gift. I hope we can, you, you, you can shoot so many more movies. Well, you have to give me a pill to stay young. Well, honestly, I can only feel happy that this type of sensitivity is um, something that is coveted. And I very often see work where the message is clear and I understand what it's about, but I don't see the human side behind it, even though it's made by humans. And I feel it immediately when it is there. So when it's given, it's given. And here it's there from the morning until the night. And I ask myself, where does this woman get the energy from? If I can succeed in getting as old, what? Sorry, I screwed up, old. Um, no. Um, I'm, I, I can only get on my knees and apologize, sorry.